So I want to make a point with the video you're about to see. I'm not posting this to embarrass the guy. He did run aground. I've run aground before. It's something that happens in boating. And if someone tells you that they haven't run aground, either they're lying or they haven't been boating very much because it's something that generally at some point in time is going to happen to every one of us. And this morning he made a very simple mistake. It's actually the same exact mistake that I have made in the past in the exact same spot in which I did it. So I don't want to throw any shade at him. He's a nice guy. I actually have met him before. I've talked to him before. Has an absolutely beautiful boat that I understand that he built himself. The guy is a seasoned, experienced mariner. Um, just had a little bit of a slip up this morning. Came a little too close to shore with the tide going down and got stuck. Well, hello from out in the middle of the strait of San Juan de Fuca. It is a beautiful morning out here. Give you guys a little bit of a pan around. Uh, can't really see anything because we're kind of out in open water. I mean, not super open water. The mountains are right there, but uh, we're going across, headed up north. And uh, I wanted to share this little video with you guys. This is from when I left this morning, and uh, I left just about the time the tide started going out. And as I was leaving Boat Haven in Port Townsend, uh, another boat coming in, a gentleman who I've actually talked to before, really nice guy, really nice boat. He swung it a little bit wide coming around, and I just saw him all of a sudden, she just kind of pitch pulled a little bit and stopped, and he ran, ran soft to ground there. And so, with that, uh, I saw it happen, I was still a little ways back, so I started yelling at him, hey, get a line ready, get a line ready, I'll, I'll grab it on the way by, and then... Uh, had another guy out there, there's a little fishing boat, he come run up there, he grabbed the line, brought it over to me, so that was perfect. And uh, I'll show you the video, you'll see what all happened. You want to go around the other side of him, get a fender in between you and the hull on your bow and give him a push on the stern. And then hold on to your rudder so it doesn't drag your rudder around. Now the message that I want to share here is if you have the opportunity to help someone, absolutely do it. Because for him, if he would have stayed there stuck in the mud, if someone hadn't come along and helped him get free, 
The tide was going to go out today about another six, maybe seven feet at that point. And that means that his boat would have been completely dry in the mud right there, and it's fairly steep, so it's highly likely the boat could have flopped over towards the open water, blocked the entrance to the marina, and become a serious issue there when the tide come back in, because if the boat flips over that way, it's going to fill back up with water, and it's not going to float. So really bad juju if that happens. So for me, it was like, yeah, absolutely lend a hand, make sure that you know he's taken care of. He swung wide to give me room, swung a little too wide, ran aground. You know, it, it's happened to the best of us. I'm not, you know, like I said at the beginning of the video, not throwing any shade at him. Really nice guy, really beautiful boat. But this is, I wanted to put this out there because it is a good lesson for everyone to think of. One is pay attention to your surroundings because complacency will get your dick caught in a vice. And the second one is, is if you have the opportunity to help someone, help them because he could, if it would not have been for my help, if another boat had not come along and helped him, he would have had a very, very bad day today. At a minimum, if he laid over towards the shore, he would have been there for, oh, six to eight hours with his boat laid over on its side. And that wouldn't have been good, you know, because everybody coming in and out would have seen him. And it's just the embarrassment that goes with that. And that makes for a really long, really stressful day. And the other thing is, is if it had gone over the other way, well, obvious serious damage to his boat. He would have lost this beautiful boat that he's, you know, keeps extremely well kept that, to my understanding, he built himself. And that, that would have been a horrible thing. So help out your fellow boater. Don't be a dick. Catch y'all later.